Problem 3, Week 1, Homework. So you'll notice that this triangle is a little different than the ones we've looked at in previous problems. Uh, this is not a right triangle, but we can figure out uh, what the remaining angle is over in here, which isn't given because all triangles have 180 degrees. So the calculation is 180 degrees minus 63 degrees minus 55 degrees. Now if we use our calculator to punch that up, it just becomes a simple calculation. 180 minus 63 minus 55. And you see we get an answer of 62 degrees. And you can ask yourself, is that reasonable? Well, it's clear that the remaining angle is less than 90, uh, but it's not particularly acute. So 62 is a reasonable answer. So this angle is 62 degrees. Now to solve the um, remainder of this problem, you need to use the law of sines. And just as a refresher, the law of sines uh, says that sine of angle A, I'm sorry, uh, side A divided by sine of angle A equals side B divided by sine of angle B equals side C divided by sine of angle C. Essentially what it says is that a length of any side is proportional to the sine of the angle opposite that side. So let's label some sides and uh, set up some ratios. So we'll call this side A, this we'll call side B, and this is side C. So what do we know? Well, <clears throat> we know that 150 feet, which is the given length of side A, divided by the sine of 55 equals the length of side C divided by the sine of 63 equals the length of side B divided by the sine of 62 degrees. Now, we can uh, turn the crank on this, sine 55 degrees. Um, we could simply look up in a trig table, or what's probably a little quicker is to punch it up on the calculator. Now, if you're using the basic calculator like this, um, you need to go into scientific mode. So if I go on scientific, that's where you'll find the sine mode. And again, uh, as I stated in previous videos, make sure you're in degrees mode. So I'm going to put in 55 degrees, and then I'm going to hit sine. And that's going to give us the sine of 55. Now I could write that number down and then divide 150 by it. But a simpler approach to this is to take the inverse of this. So um, you have a 1 over key here. You could use that to get the inverse. You have the x to the y key. You could raise it to the negative 1 power. Either would have the same result. I think it's a little cleaner to do 1 over. Okay, so this is the reciprocal of the sine of 55. Now, instead of dividing, because I have the reciprocal, I simply multiply by the 150 feet. So we could come over here and we could add an equal sign. 150 feet divided by the sine of 55 is approximately equal to 183.12, we'll say. 183.12. Point two. If we think about our uh, units, uh, it's feet divided by the sine of an angle, which um, is without units, so the units here are going to be feet. Now, what does that tell us? Well, the good thing is we can set this equal to C divided by the sine of 63 degrees. So the question is, how do you get C by itself? Well, you multiply both sides by the sine of 63 degrees. So if I take 183.2 times sine 63 degrees, that's going to tell me uh, the length of side C in feet. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to take, um, actually I'll take this whole number because it's more precise than my rounded number, and I'm going to multiply that. Uh, actually, I'm going to clear out of there. I'm going to take 63 and I'm going to get the sine of it. 
There's the sine of 63, and I'm going to multiply that times 183.2. Now, recall that because we've rounded, this is an approximation at this point. So we can see that uh, uh, side C is about 163.23 feet long. So let's write that down. Two, three feet. So let's um, add that label in and let's think about is that reasonable? Well, uh, side A is across from a 55 degree angle and has a length of 150 feet. Side C is across from a 63 degree angle and has a length of 163 feet. Well, certainly we know that um, side C should be longer than side A because the angle is larger. But it shouldn't be substantially longer because the angle difference is, uh, you know, this is across from a 63 degree angle as opposed to a 55 degree angle. So the evidence would be that 163.23 is a reasonable number. The process again for um, finding the length of side B is we set the value that we found in the first part of the problem using law of sines 183.2 feet equal to B over sine of, in this case, 62 degrees. And uh, we'll get B by itself by multiplying both sides by the sine of 62. Now, if you think about in the previous step of the problem, we multiplied both sides by the sine of 63. These two numbers are going to be very close together. So we'd expect a number, a length for side B, that's going to be close to the length that we got for side C, which was 163. So if we do, uh, if we rewrite the problem, 183.2 feet times sine of 62 degrees equals the length of side B. If we plug this into our calculator, I still don't know. So again, the process is we're going to take the sine of the angle, so 62 degrees, put it into the sine function, and we're going to multiply it by our derived constant of 183.2 feet. And we find that the length of side B is about 161.76 feet. So B equals 161.76 feet. Now, let's think about is that reasonable? Well, it is reasonable. And here's how you know. We know that it should be slightly less than uh, side C. Side C was opposite a 63 degree angle. Side B is opposite a 62 degree angle. And if we look at side B, at 161.76 feet, that's, um, this is about right. So let's go ahead and label that. 161.76 feet in this direction. Now the last part of the problem deals with how much fence would it take to enclose this. But that's simply a sum. And that's just the sum of these three sides. So if we pull up our calculator again, we'll clear out what we had previously. Side A had a length of 150. Side B had a length of 161.76. And side C had a length of 163.23. So if we add those three numbers up, we know it's going to be somewhere probably between 4 and 500 because 3 times 150 is 450. So 474.99. Now, of course, you buy fencing by the foot. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, our solution is we need about 475 feet of fence. That's our final solution.